Today we are going to talk about seven amazing Node.js project ideas for your portfolio and training. But before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel and give us thumbs up and turn on the notifications. Hello everyone and welcome in the next episode. A few days ago, I have published the other lesson of our Node.js course. And then I thought about an idea of creating project ideas for Node.js because you might want to try do something by your own and practice a little bit more. That's why today I prepared seven amazing ideas for simple project for Node.js developers. Some of those projects will require some HTML and JavaScript knowledge, but I guess that if you know how to use Node.js, you probably know HTML and JavaScript as well. So, are you ready to find out what projects you can do to practice? Let's start! Before we will go to the projects, let me tell you about a few frameworks that will be great if you will get familiar with to build your Node.js project. Because remember that Node.js is just a runtime environment for JavaScript. It's not like a framework. So it's really, really useful to use something additional with it. The first and one of the most common ones is Express.js. So it's really great if you can find out something about this framework. Another great one is Nest.js. And you can learn Nest.js with our course here on YouTube. I will give you the link. Uh, the next one, which will be really, really great for you to know, is Socket.io. And this will help you to create a real-time applications. It's pretty easy and has a really great documentation. And the last one you should get familiar with is SQLize, which will help you to connect with database really, really easy. Okay, let's go to the projects. So, the first project idea that I would like to start with is a simple books directory. And in this kind of project, you can practice for the most common and the most basic REST API methods. So, you can create the endpoint to get data, to add new data with post method, to update a book with put method, and to delete a book with delete method. And in this kind of project, if you are a beginner, you don't have to start with database, you can just use any JSON file with data, so you can grow it later, but you don't have to start with creating database and migrations. The project number two that you can do to practice your Node.js skills is a basic user system. And what kind of skills you can get here? You can learn how to set up the database and do migrations. You can learn how to create a new user with registration. You can learn how to create a login for a new user, an authentication for a new user, and you can learn how to get user from the database. And remember that in this kind of project, you should generate a JVT token and you shouldn't save your password as a string, which is an input for the API. You should hash your password because of the safety reasons. Uh, and if you need some guidance with this kind of project and you don't feel quite comfortable with it yet, you can join us on our Node.js course and see how it should be done and then you can create your own project. Another exciting application that you can do with Node.js is a real-time chat. For this kind of application, you can use Express.js framework, you can try using MongoDB, which is a little bit different than, for example, PostgreSQL, which we are using in our course, and you can use Socket.io. It shouldn't be anything very complicated at the beginning, you can just create a chat that will announce when user is connected, when user is disconnected, and allow to send and receive messages. But later, you can try to add some additional features like video, 
and maybe try to build something similar to Hangouts. The idea number four is a collaborative drawing app. And what you need to use in this kind of application? You will need some HTML skills and some simple JavaScript or jQuery skills can be useful. Besides that, you can use Socket.io. And let me tell you how you should do it. So first of all, you need to install your Node.js with Socket. Then you need to create simple HTML area with canvas element for drawing. You can style it wherever you would like to, just to make it, you know, user friendly. Then you need to create some JavaScript code on front end to handle your events. Uh, it will be probably mouse events. And the last point should be to set up your server code when you will catch when new user comes to the drawing tool and starts to draw. And for that, you will use Socket.io. The project idea number five that I have for you today is an email sending application. And this kind of application can be really, really useful for you because sending email is part of a lot of applications because whenever a new user registers to the application, then probably application need to send him an email or when you forgot password, sometimes there are needed some emails. So for sure, these skills will be very, very useful in your future job. So let me tell you how to do it. To send emails with Node.js, you can use uh, external library called Node.mailer and it's pretty easy, they have really good documentation, so you can try it out and maybe in some time you can also add a frontend to create email templates really, really easily. Project number six is another cool project idea and a little bit different maybe. And for sure, it will be eye-catching in your portfolio. What I'd like to suggest to you on point six is to build a video streaming application. What you need to do is to take care about actual streaming. So you need to divide your video for chunks that will be sent to the front end in a little part. No, like you won't be sending the whole video at once to the front end because it's not good for performance. And this is the challenge for you actually. And to make it like full video platform, you would need to add some HTML5 to create a video uh, player, to create a video player and some j simple JavaScript to handle the video controls. And if you will decide to build this kind of application, show it to me in the comments. And the last project idea I have for you today is a web scrapper with Node.js. And in this kind of application, there can be useful external tools like Cheerio.js or Pupiter. I will give you the names in the description because I maybe don't pronounce it very well. And in this kind of application, you have to take care about get getting data from internet sorting it, selecting the data that you would like to get, like by the tags, for example, and saving it into the file or to database, it depends on you. Congratulations! Now you know seven amazing project ideas for Node.js. I hope you will try to do some of them and remember that if you don't feel quite comfortable with Node.js yet, feel free to join our Node.js course here on YouTube and then you will get some guidance about creating user, about creating some simple endpoint and then maybe you will feel more ready to create your own Node.js projects. And also, if you have any other ideas for Node.js, share it in the comments so others can see it too and maybe do some of your ideas as well. Let me know which idea is your best and if you did any of this, share the results with us. And thank you for watching. If you liked this video, give us thumbs up and 
Remember to subscribe this channel to find out about the next lessons of our Node.js course and about the next project ideas. And remember to turn on the notifications. Also, leave us a comment if you liked it and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!